Hello and welcome back to Carmston Farm. We are just pulling in to the workshop to uh, repair the combine. So let's get that done. 11.5k complete, <laughs> he says. So, um, what, else, what else have I been doing? Well, I've sold some milk, topped up the, both the dairies, moved slurry and manure into the mini BGA, and I have activated the manure. Manure activated. Um, so that's going to run up and process, and we'll top up the electric charge, then we'll get that sold, and then we'll run the slurry through as well. So... We are now going to head down to field 23. Already got the uh, little fent with the header, trailer and header down there waiting for us. So we're going to get that cut. And as I said last time, we're going to ship that then to the brewery to make some Budweiser. So I'll get down to the field, we will grab a trailer or two and uh, catch up in a little while. Okay, well, we've got the Massey and the Fent with the two Richard Western trailers on them. They've all had a clean. So uh, the plan is to, again, do the uh, harvesting ourselves. Just want to check that we're going to get a straw swath. Yes, we are, lovely miss anything um, so once the headlands are done I am going to add a weight point for field 23 obviously this is the first time that we've owned it and uh, yeah we need to add it into the auto drive route so that shouldn't be too difficult hopefully famous last words um, but then that will enable us to at least get the get auto drive to cart to the brewery for us it's going to go straight there dump it in and then we can uh, yeah start producing from that production again so don't have any clue what we're going to get off this field but it's uh, we're all it's all going to go into the production so we're going to upscale it so to, so to speak and uh, hopefully make a fair amount of money out of it. So with the first headland done, I think we've got just shy of 12,000 litres, um, which is pretty good to be fair. Um, let's just, while that's unloading, have a quick look at the precision farming menu where are we we are here so 66 percent at 66 percent silly boy uh so yeah nitrogen is really low ph is taking a battering and tillage that's fine we'll sort all that so let's just have a look at yield 80 85 so not bad really considering that it was over fertilized so yeah, I'm happy with that. We can uh, get the score up as we go through. Does it need plowing? No, marvellous. So, um, right, so yeah, we got to, oh, 11,000 litres, so brilliant. Let's now have a look at the auto drive route. So we could possibly put in a little lay-by um, I think for now, what we'll do is we'll just have a point here. So, uh, edit selected. Nope. We need to click on this one. And, nope. Create, edit, target, delete waypoint. Oh, I think it's this one, isn't it? Insect target name. Perfect. F23 wait okay jobs are good one. so now 
we can go to come on car tech unload combine field 23 weight and it is going to be a delivery tick super now we need to just jump back in to the harvester and uh, set the same target and we are good to go working away down the second headland now and both the tractors are set to uh, the field 23 weight point and the beer delivery for the tip point put the combine just on the same target you don't have to turn anything on it's just so that the carters know where to uh, be sort of waiting I guess you call it and then that's their sort of target and then when we put the auger out and the they uh, they come and uh, unload us so we are running reasonably late into the evening now um, but it, with it being July the nights are obviously going to be drawing out and staying lighter for longer so we'll make the most of it we won't go until it's absolutely pitch black I'm not uh, I'm not uh, really thinking that that's uh, a good situation for recording in <laughs> um, but what I do want to do is we won't sleep again we'll uh, edge through time so to speak until we get to midnight and uh, check the contracts page again had a brilliant suggestion for a mod um, or a beta version of a mod should I say that's on github so that was suggested by smock farmer so basically it's a tweak to the better contracts mod by the modder that created it I did check and look at that earlier and basically what it does is it stops the um, NPC farmers harvesting their crops so they never harvest them so that means that we are free to uh, pick up those contracts and we haven't got to worry about um, them disappearing so yeah that's going to do us uh, that's going to do us some good we haven't got to faff around and we might be able just to sleep and then uh, grab the contracts because they shouldn't disappear so we are very nearly full and uh, I think we're going to hold on there and wait for I think it was the fence that was uh, on its way to us yeah here it comes come on little fent there we go no, don't. there we go super lights on and everything proper job there we go jobs are good done well at the rate that we're going we are going to get this field done uh, in very good time and we shouldn't need to carry it on tomorrow so that's good probably got what two maybe three passes left it's a bit of a strange shaped field bit of a wedge um, but yeah we're into the sort of higher yielding or higher yielding section now it sort of tails off down the bottom of the field which is you know it's fine we haven't done any work on it so it is what it is but all this is like I said going to go into the brewery and uh, we're going to make some bud wise Brrr. if you remember that advert you are old <laughs> it was um, I think it was the was it the three toads I think very uh bizarre advert but yeah very memorable as well I guess that's uh, the whole point of it so let's crack on with this we're going to be unloading again very soon and uh, we'll see uh, how we get on looking at the size of uh, the rocks in this field we are going to need to uh, lease a rock picker at some point to get those up and out of the way uh, I guess it's just generated on the map 
at the start and yeah whatever we can get that sorted though not too uh, worried about that we're filling up at a reasonable rate again the fence and the Richard Weston was full I think we've got about 200 litres left in the combine so the mass is there waiting to be uh, topped up but yeah uh, the light is starting to go though luckily the combine's got some decent lights I think if the cloud cleared off a bit we'd be a bit brighter but hey ho we'll uh, push on get this finished tonight another nearly full grain tank and I'm what where's the massy going I'm here hello um yeah another nearly full grain tank and uh, there's something quite atmospheric about harvesting at night and actually reasonably realistic you know you hear the I hear where I am it's quite rural and of a night if it's the roads quiet you can hear the combines in the field mainly the reversing beeping um, but there's always that sort of drone as well that is uh, is the harvesters working late into the night um, yeah it's pretty cool and very lucky to be able to uh, hear them and sometimes see them to be fair um, over the back fields uh, near me you can uh, sometimes see them but yes so Let's get this unloaded. The fence just arrived back. We are very nearly finished with the harvesting. I wonder if we're going to fill this trailer up. Or if the fence is going to stop in the way of us. We will see. There we go. Emptied out. Jobs are good in. We can get the auger in. Get the beacons off. And... Uh, get this harvest all finished last little slither of this field and we are done the light has properly gone now so uh, we will be wrapping it up very very soon there we go that is the field completely harvested and uh, we can now unload get the combine folded up for the night and uh, yeah we'll go and unload into the silo not the silo the brewery even and uh, see how much we ended up with so with the last of the oats loaded into the brewery we can now have a look at what we ended up with 51,260 litres okay jobs are good done so tomorrow we need to get a tanker probably and uh, get water and then we can activate the production so uh, yeah I think um, for today we'll uh, leave it there we'll probably leave the combine in the field I think because we are going to be harvesting field 21 very very soon but uh, yeah, everything, can, everything else can stay where it is and I'll see you in the morning. Right, well it's 20 to 6 in the morning and we are down at the store to grab ourselves a tanker. So let's... Oh, nothing. <laughs> Could do with a really nice big tractor in there. Um, so what do we want? We want... Uh, animals because it'll be under there and I think the only option we've got is this one so milk water liquid fertilizer and herbicide That'll do we uh, have a plate on the back doesn't really matter what mug <laughs> Uh, we'll go with that one. Okay, and we can leave it in those colours. We're only going to lease it for three, nearly three and a half grand. So, let's get hooked up to that and uh, get it filled with water. 
while this isn't the fastest filling uh, water point in the world, but it's free, so we can't complain. I uh, just wanted to show you that I didn't uh, cheat the water into the tank this time, anyway. <laughs> the rate that this is going, I may have to for next time, otherwise we'll spend half the day filling up a tanker. Right, up at the brewery with 32,000 litres of water. Go. Just pull forward and then back up into the trigger. There we go. Get that loaded in, and while that's doing that, we can head into. Oh, okay, so we're out of space on the electric charge. So we will sell that, and we can then find the. There we go activate that one there we go i think we'll uh, focus on uh consuming the oats first and then possibly go back to uh finishing off those last five thousand odd liters of corn but that's all good hopefully that's going to run for a fair amount of time with the uh, water that we've just put in so we'll leave that there for now. Getting quite a fleet of uh, trailers. May have to look at uh, purchasing them at some point, but for the amount we use them and the lease costs, it's uh, negligible, really. Right. Um, next job, I think, is going to be to bale the straw from field 23. So we've got the... You can just about see the Massey baler on the back of the Massey tractor. So we are gonna repair baler, repair the weight and repair the Massey, 10,788. Okay, jobs are good in. We've had the payment in from the biogas plant, so that does uh, offset the pain of repairing the tractors somewhat. So we'll get this backed out of here and uh, give the baler a bit of a jet wash, give it clean, and uh, head back down to field 23. So we're in the field, and the baling is underway. So I think probably best idea to uh, get this done first. I don't necessarily need to collect them right now, but uh, it'll give the, uh, the barley a chance to uh, dry out a bit, get rid of the morning dew and let the moisture drop a touch, so yeah, all good I'm liking the plan for today so far it uh, yeah, feels a much steadier pace liking it I was thinking the other day as well about looking at how much this field opposite us is, and what's the number let's just have a look Number, where are we? So 19, let's just have a quick look. We'll come back to this menu in a second. So field number 19 is, blimey, 767,000. Um, maybe not just yet though, but uh, good yield potential. Fair amount of loam in that, so that's good. Hmm, okay. So while we're in the... Uh, main menu let's just take a look at this screen so this is the contract scheme screen and this is the better contracts uh, beta mod so nothing there at the minute oh hold on oh it's weird it looks like oh hold on a minute so you turn on ah who contracts anything no okay not yet but uh should appear hopefully soon right let's start chatting more baling last pass with the baler now and then we can have a look and see how many bales we got we're gonna get another one are we nope okay not bad though let's get that unloaded there we go Cool. Right, let's just check 25. Not bad at all. 
Cool. So we can move the baler up to the next field. And I wish I'd noticed this cut through earlier. Because it would have saved me taking the header off the combine. But mind. So we'll pull this round here somewhere out the way, he says. Probably just here, in fact. And we can leave that there. Drop it off. We'll go and... There we go. We'll go and hook back up to the trailer because we'll be starting the barley harvest soon. Just heading up to our field of barley now and uh, we're in the Land Rover. The eagle-eyed amongst you, you'll notice that we're on the correct side of the vehicle. That is because we've swapped out the Discovery for this Defender. It's an ex-rescue uh, vehicle. Just uh, deliveried and painted in a nice dark blue with a matte black hood. It's got the full rescue kit on it, including sirens and beacons. I'm not a child at all. Um, right, so let's pull into here and get hooked up to the refrigerated trailer because well actually no we'll head over here first so we've got three crates of bud already so they're pretty cool nice let's head around here to see a new addition to the farm now you'll know that i was pondering what to do with digestate so let's just back up to here uh, get this connected up. There we go. Pop out of there and have a look at this. So, this is a fertilizer production silo. Input is digestate, output is solid fur. So, if we just go into here. So it says materials missing, but what I've done is I've set the digest date to distributing from both the BGAs, so the mini biogas plant and the base game uh, map uh, BGA. So they will tick over, hopefully on the hour, into there and uh, start producing us some solid fertilizer. So with the introductions to the new uh, the new additions to the farm done. We can crack on with the barley harvest. So uh, again, the barley for this. I'm not sure what we're going to do with this. Probably just uh, keep hold of it and then sell it when it's a decent price maybe. Maybe keep some of it for chicken feed if we need it. But I think we're pretty good with wheat. So we'll see. It's nice to have uh, the option and not need to sell everything that we've got. So let's just get to the end of here and we'll take a look at what the precision farming score has done. It was pointed out to me that uh, because we haven't harvested this, the score is going to be low. So it makes sense. Right, so we'll get to the end of here and... Uh, check in on that score so in the precision farming menu now and 21 no surprises has jumped up to 100 which is good let's just have a quick squiz at the yield yeah not bad around the 100 95 90 mark so yeah that'll do us for now barley's a good yielding crop anyway so holding out high hopes that this field is still a good addition to our farm. So what else have I done between recording stints? I've fed the cows, we did the fertiliser um, production, bought a new car, um, that's about it I think actually. I was, um, I was tempted to clear the field of bales but 
just ran out of time so we'll do that once we've bailed this field as well and uh, yeah that's about it really not much more to say than let's get this field harvested so we've just completed one headland and uh, we, were, we were already 85% full I think and we'd already unloaded 12,000 litres so yeah brilliant yield from this barley so far and because we have now dropped over into uh, dropped over the hour into eight o'clock uh, or quarter past eight should i say sorry if we look at the solid fertilizer production digestate so it's moved all the digestate across and has so far produced us 1763 liters of fertilizer so jobs are good done um I don't know whether we can sell it anywhere. I haven't looked. I doubt we can actually. But uh, open air garden, it doesn't buy it. I don't think. I think I'm not sure how that would work. But hey, we'll uh, either use it for ourselves or yeah, just find a way to sell it somewhere. Maybe have to add in a, another sell point. But yeah, jobs are good done. We can uh, crack on and do another headland just nearing the end of the second headland now and we've had to unload another twice i think it was go so still yielding just as well as we expected so we're gonna head down to this side of the field where i've already set uh the gps course or line should i say so we can then drop onto that and then, uh, depending on how full we are at the other end, we will cut into the field. We may need to empty first. There we go. So yeah, I did all this uh, side of the field. Got two passes, two and a bit passes, just to get it squared off while we were doing the headlands. So yeah, it's. Uh, it's a nice crop to harvest always feels like you're getting loads off it with barley so it's uh, a good feeling i'm liking uh, how realistic it looks with the weeds as well they're all died off but they're still there and you do see that you see that in real life i suppose you'd say <laughs> um weeds in fields and you know they don't get hand picked out of the way so Yep, all good. Liking it. It's, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to think now. Because we're going to get a lot of solid fertiliser. I know I'm jumping around on topics. Whether we look at, there's a sell point. I know there's a sell point that sells everything. Whether we could build that into the map somewhere so it doesn't look too weird. Or we just keep hold of it and use it for ourselves we shall see but uh, yeah we're nearly 50% full already we're making short work of this field not sure whether I'm going to bail it on screen or, or do it off screen I haven't decided yet I've done a lot of bailing but uh, we'll keep all this straw and the good thing about using the Heath uh, Super Chaser with the uh, but this field is we can just go and unload directly into those uh, sheds over there to the left because the roofs are so high we should be able to just drop the bales in there and stack them up like that i think so all unloaded and making a cut into the field now and uh, while we do that i was just looking at the prices for bud at the minute so four four five eight and luckily we are above the price expected already and i think it was still yeah still on the way up so august probably we'll sell whatever we've got of that so that's a rather good timing um yeah very pleased how that's worked out so yeah we just need to get this done now and uh, decide what we're gonna do with it because there is the option to 
include it? No, there isn't. It's wheat. Ah, okay. Hmm. Okay, well, like I said before, it can probably just stay and be sold. We've got... Let's have a look. Wrong one. There we go. So we've already got uh, 22,000 litres. We've got 37,000 litres of wheat, which can be fed to the chickens. So... Yeah, we might uh, might keep a bit and we might sell a bit as well. Like I said before, we can decide at a later date. So this is what we like. Maximum efficiency. Unloading on the go. And uh, yeah, all working perfectly in sync. Jobs are good and So once we get to the end, we can jump over a few rows and go and cut in to the other side of the field because we are empty and it's I reckon it's filling up every one and a half passes ish there we go so all we're in go super GPS off otherwise it makes it very difficult to steer um, so yeah I reckon every one and a bit passes it's filling up which is good so if we Find a line and just turn in there. GPS back on and the combine will sort itself out. There we go. Header down and let's cut in. We are running at five mile an hour, miles an hour now. Um, I'm guessing the header needs a repair, which is not ideal but uh, it'll have to do I'm not going to traipse all the way back to the farm to repair it now we'll finish off this harvest and and then go and repair the combine and the header together the other thing I'd forgotten which I'd, uh, I've added in is the vehicle sale customizer mod so we've now got a few more selections and uh, we'll keep an eye on that. The only one I was kind of interested in was this uh, Stroutman uh, mixer feeder wagon. So 143k, 17,000 litre capacity. It might might be a good idea. I'm not 100 percent sure. It would have it would save us having to move the mixer wagon or the the trailed one between the two sheds but at the minute we're managing so I think we're okay but uh, with that mod for the sale customizer things will appear hopefully more frequently um, there's at least one every hour at the minute so or it changes every hour should I say so so this is the good thing about doing lands is the fact that if timed right when emptying you uh you can always be on a on the uh, unload side with the auger so you can have the auger on the side that the tractor can come and unload you so as long as you unload before you do the cutting you should be sorted unless you're on a massive field then uh, then it might be slightly different but yeah i'm liking the lands approach it's doing us well so far finally got unloaded i think we filled the massey um, and then the Fent was having a bit of a think about what it wanted to do to unload us. But we're still going strong and, uh, yeah, can't grumble. So let's crack on a bit further and we'll catch up shortly. So even running at a slightly reduced speed of five miles an hour rather than six, we seem to be cracking through this field. We're on to the uh, weird triangular shape now. We've got one more pass you can see on the left there to do down the field. But uh, other than that, we are very, very nearly done. And uh, once we are finished, we'll get everything in the silo and uh, see what uh, we've ended up with out of this uh, field of barley. The yield map looks reasonable. This top end of the field is the darker green colours, so 
uh, obviously a higher yield with this soil type but uh, not too shabby elsewhere as well so cannot grumble at all so uh, yeah I will see you when we are finished last pass now on this field of barley and uh, I think it's probably going to all fit in probably end up with about 96% maybe something like that if we're lucky both tractors are back in the field oh, no, we've passed 96 it's all got to fit surely I don't know no not quite oh okay I was wrong but never mind it's a good thing I suppose so uh, let's wait now for one of the workers to decide they want to unload us Bent is manoeuvring into position and then we'll nibble that last about 50 litres of barley and uh, get everything into the silo so into the menu and we can see what crops we've got and my word 148,795 litres off that field I did think we were unloading a lot but I didn't think we'd uh, produce that much wowzers that's brilliant so what's the highest for that 676 yeah not too bad at all so December for that unless we decide to do something different with it but yeah very very pleased with that let's just take a look so fields at 99 on the score yield map yeah not bad at all places a little few places at the max 120 115 so yeah i think the lowest is 85 percent. so yeah i'm happy with that can't grumble at all so that is where we're going to leave it for this episode it's been a great time harvesting the oats and the barley we've got our budweiser bud wise -er, um into production and we'll be selling some of that in the very near future but until then thank you very much for watching if you've enjoyed the episode leave a like consider subscribing to the channel and i will see you next time take care